Oh no, this is gonna be gross. This is gonna be so gross. <sighs> Can't believe I'm about to do this again. What's up guys, Sergio here, back with another video and today we're gonna be doing another trying the nastiest sounding Tyler foods ever. Uh, and we're just gonna see how this stuff tastes, which I am already assuming is gonna be bad, but because they just all sound nasty. Um, so yeah, I don't know why I'm doing this again. Actually I do, because uh, it seems like you guys like this. Uh, but um, I decided to do it because I didn't really see anything interesting to review at the stores of late. And since my daughter is starting to eat more solid foods, it kind of rejogged my memory that I did this before uh, around when my son was eating solid foods, I think. So uh, yeah, we got what, one, two, three, four, five, six different items here. So uh, let me go over these real quick before we dive in. The two most notable ones are these. And if you guys have watched my previous videos, you know that these are probably gonna taste pretty bad. Uh, since I am now eating red meat, uh, now for the first time in uh, 10 years, I decided to add some uh, red meat uh, flavored meat liquid stuff. I don't know what you wanna call it, but I have uh, bison right here. This is 100% uh, grain fed, by the way, bison made with organic kabocha, K-A-B-O-C-H-A squash, kabocha squash and spinach. Ooh, I did not see that it had that added to it. I just saw the meat stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is for six month, a six month plus year old. And then this one is 100% um, grass fed beef um, made with organic kale and sweet potato. So maybe this one will be a little bit more tasty, uh, but they're, they're still definitely both gonna be gross. Uh, if you're wondering, this one, the bison's 80 calories, the beef is 100, so bison's a little bit lower. So we got these. Um, then we also have this other liquid. This is organic baby puree. This is white bean, pumpkin, and apple. Uh, 110 calories for this, and uh, yeah. This would probably be okay if it wasn't for the white bean. That sounds weird. Um, we also have a baby burrito bowl. I don't know if you guys can see the picture of that thing. Like, that just looks gross. <laughs> uh, it didn't necessarily sound nasty, but like when I look at the picture, I'm like, oh yeah, definitely better try this one. And then we also have a butternut squash mac and cheese. Um, so these are both, uh, this one's 170 calories, this one's 150, so not too bad. Now lastly, this one might not taste too bad. I actually just picked these things up in the store because my daughter just wanted to have something in her hand. She was like freaking out. So uh, I wanna buy these. I really didn't intend on buying these, but I decided to add this into the uh, video because um it is kind of weird this is a fruit and veggie melts um and yeah it's just like a dried fruit vegetable snack and i've tried dried fruit vegetable snacks in the past and they can be quite weird so um the fact that this is fruit and veggie i'm trying to see what the mixture it doesn't really give you <laughs> it doesn't really give you a list of, on the front of what vegetables are in it but i don't know apple grape uh purple carrots um, blueberry, yeah, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I'm ready to start trying this uh, stuff. What I'm gonna do first is, I guess I'll go and heat these things up so um, then we can just get right into it. So I'll be right back, get these things heated, and then we're gonna try this stuff out. All right, guys, I'm back, got everything heated up, so I'm ready to get into it. All right, so uh, I think what I want to start off with first is um, I want to get the uh, meat liquids, the meat purees out of the way because I already know those are going to be the worst. So if we get those out of the way and then we'll go from there. Alright, do I want bison or do I want beef? Ah, oh, shoot. Uh, okay. We're going to go with the bison. Alright, so this is bison once again made with organic kabocha squash and spinach. Open it up. Oh man, this thing's hard to open. And this is for a six month old, so. So you guys know, give you a frame of reference. Oh man. Oh yeah, I already know this is gonna be bad. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go. You can do this. Mm. 
You know what? That's not too bad. I was expecting it to be way worse. And that was okay. It was still very, very gross. Like, it's like gritty. But I'm actually really surprised. That is the best tasting um, one that I've tried. And I think I've tried like salmon and chicken and maybe turkey. That was too bad. Don't blame me, but I think I might try a little bit more. Okay. No, nope. it gets grosser. Ugh. Okay. It's still gross. It's still gross. I think I was just gearing up for it to be way worse and it wasn't that bad. I still wouldn't give this to my daughter. No way. Ugh. One down, uh, like four more to go or something like that. Uh, yeah, so now we're gonna do the beef. So this is 100% grass-fed beef made with organic kale and sweet potato. Now this is the one that I was thinking was gonna actually taste decent. Um, so hopefully this doesn't prove me wrong. So here we go. Cracking it open. Giving it the smell test. Oh, this one smells worse than that one. The bison at least had like a mild smell to this, uh, smell to it. This one is a little bit stronger. So I'm, I'm nervous. Oh gosh. Kind of smells like spoiled milk a little bit, which is weird. All right, here we go. Oh no! Mm -mm. Holy! Mm. Ah. I can't believe I ate that. That was gross. You know what made it gross? It was actually the sweet potato. So this one had what happened? It squash and spinach, and I feel like that's like mild, like the. Um, Flavor is mild, but the sweet potato, because it's so sweet, like it just tastes gross. Like it, it's there's too much of a contrast between like a sweet taste and like a savory taste, or trying to be savory, and that's oh that was disgusting. So yeah, the beef was not good. Uh, the bison was definitely better than the beef. Wow, that was gross. That was gross. So now I know. Yeah, sweet potato and beef, at least in liquid puree form, do not go together. All right. I think it's time to get into one of these, uh, what do you want to call it, TV dinner meal, microwave meal, I don't know, whatever. Uh, the baby bowl and the butternut uh, uh, mac and cheese. All right, so I'm thinking that the butternut mac and cheese is gonna be nastier. So let's get that one out of the way. So I heat this thing up. Um, it's organic too, by the way. Wow, that actually has a pretty interesting taste to it. I wonder if I can get a close up on the camera without spilling it. It doesn't look too bad, actually, to be honest with you guys. Um, I mean, smell wise. Uh, and this is supposed to be butternut squash. Is it actual noodle in it, though? Okay, okay. So there's actually cooked macaroni. So this is actually macaroni noodle, but I think they're using the butternut squash as the cheese, maybe? What is the point of this? No, there's cheddar cheese in here too. I'm so confused. So it's essentially like mac and cheese, but they added, I think the butternut squash is actually like supposed to be like the cheese, even though they added cheese too. I don't get it. What was the point of that? Like why not just make mac and cheese? Maybe I guess they're trying to be healthy. Maybe there's not as much cheese and the butternut squash is replacing most of the cheese, but there's still cheese in it. I don't know, that's weird. Anyway, let's, let's try it. Ooh. I don't know how to feel about this. So my thoughts on that is like counterfeit. It's definitely counterfeit because like, <laughs> it, like if you were to go like somebody say, hey, I made mac and cheese, you're like, great. You take a bite, you'd be like, but yeah it's definitely I don't want to say it's bad but it's just so different and the fact that it's supposed to represent mac and cheese makes it bad so if it was like just a completely different dish like and if you never had mac and cheese before you probably like oh okay like this is an interesting way to incorporate butternut squash with noodles but we all know what they're trying to do they're trying to make it tastes like mac and cheese and it's not. So, that being said, if you're getting, giving it to a baby who probably has not had mac and cheese at this point, if you're giving them this, 
they probably would think it's okay. Like it's not too bad. But when they grow up and got older and they taste real mac and cheese, they would realize that you were lying to them the whole time. And they'd be probably pretty unhappy with you. Because mac and cheese, uh, this doesn't hold a candle to mac and cheese. But it's not bad. So yeah, take, take it uh, as you will with that. That's my opinion on that one. Okay, so that one turned out to be not as bad as I was expecting. Now, this baby burrito bowl, it's not so much that it sounded gross, but it looked gross. Like the picture was just disgusting. And even now, like, look at this thing. I guess I should mix it up. I'll mix it up a little bit so make it seem a little bit more presentable. But it just looked gross, like a green mush. We'll mix it up. Check that out. If you guys can see that. But it, it does kind of have like that, uh, you know, chipotle burrito bowl smell. And I think it might be quinoa in here. Yeah, quinoa, beans and quinoa. So let's go ahead and try this one out. All right, let's, let's try this out, see how it tastes. It's kind of sweet, which is not what I was expecting. I feel like I just need to eat, add more salt and pepper to it and it would be okay, but. That was actually not too bad. It's like a Chipotle light, you know what I mean? It's like what you would give your baby if you went to Chipotle and you didn't want to have like all that sodium and stuff in there, and like no guacamole or sour cream, you'd probably give them something like this. Now I will say, I have to check the, the standards, but this has like whole pieces of corn and I don't know when you can give babies whole pieces of corn. So that's a little suspicious. I don't know what it says as far as the uh, age on this thing. But uh, yeah, there's definitely, I think, I wanna say, yeah, like giving the kid the corn might not be something you wanna give them. So you really should probably look at what the uh, the age is for this, because I think, yeah, corn is might be a no-no to give to a, a baby. So this is definitely be more of a toddler snack. And even then, I'm not quite sure on the age, but anyway, it's okay. Uh, definitely needs a little bit more salt, more seasoning, and I didn't like the sweet aspect of it. That was weird. I was expecting more savory, and I got kind of like sweet. So, kind of weird, but anyway, let's move on. I forgot we have one more pouch. I was trying to, my plan going into this was to knock out all the pouches, but I forgot one. So, great, we're gonna jump into that one. Uh, let's see what we got here. This is a Cerebelli. Like cerebellum, maybe? I don't know. Cerebelli organic baby puree. puree bleh, I can't talk. It's a, it's a puree. You got white bean, pumpkin, apple. Um, yeah, let's give this thing a try. I don't know if this is supposed to be, well, I guess given the ingredients, this would be more like supposed to be a savory thing than a sweet thing. The nice little pretty green color makes me think it's gonna be sweet. So a little deceptive here. All right. Man, that corn. It's like not going down. It's weird. Uh, anyway, oh no, this is gonna be gross. This is gonna be so gross. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is gonna be gross, I already know. I'm already getting sick just smelling it. Kidney beans and pumpkins, that just doesn't seem right. All right, here we go. This is for you guys. Oh, oh gosh. Mm -mm. What was that? That was the nastiest. <sighs> what? What? White bean, pumpkin, and apple. What? What in the world is this? I don't even know how to describe it. Like, I think it actually does taste like white bean, pumpkin, and apple. But why would you ever mix those three things together? Like, that's gross. <laughs> so it 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 it, it's, it it tastes exactly like what is in here. So if you like that, if, if you like that kind of stuff, you like that mixture, then maybe you'll like this. But if you are like me and those three things mixed together sound disgusting, then you're definitely not gonna like this. This was really nasty. This was the nastiest, I think, out of the three. At least these were like a little bit more safe. Well, the sweet potato was kind of gross too, though. So it was definitely on par more with the beef and the sweet sweet potato, because that was, that was pretty nasty. So, um, whew, last thing. Hopefully we're gonna go out on a high note with this one. 
Uh, so this is a fruit and veggie melt. So I think it's gonna be more like a dried fruit snack type of vibe. Ooh, the smell on this thing. Oh. <coughs> uh, I think the powder or something like got in my nose, it kind of burns. Okay, it kind of smelled good until I opened up the whole thing and then it's, it smells kind of bad. It seems kind of powdery. I feel like I shouldn't be like inhaling this. Why is it so strong? Okay. If, if it's hard for me to actually like inhale the fumes or whatever, if you will, of this, why would you be giving it to a baby? You know what I mean? Like, if it's hurt my nose just to smell it, it makes me question if I should really be eating it. Or like, were you supposed to be like, oh, here you go, Johnny. Like, let me feed you. Let me pinch your nose, though, to make sure it doesn't get in your nose or in your eyes. Let's put some goggles on or something. You'll be okay. Just, it's good for you. Like, I don't know. Like, it just, it's kind of weird. But yeah, this is very strong. All right, here, take a look at this. So it's supposed to be mixed with, you know, both fruits and vegetables. So they smell really strong. It has like a very like chemical, chemically smell or like manufacturing smell. Like it just, I don't know. I don't know if it's just like how they made this and it's the fumes from the powder of it being like ground down and mixed into like all these fruits and vegetables being like forced into this little piece. Uh, but yeah, it just doesn't smell right. And I don't, like I said, I don't think you should inhale it. But anyway, let's try it out. Okay. That's what I expected. It's like a dried fruit, you know, snack. I think I've tasted some other ones in previous videos. I will say. Oh, nope. I'm not gonna say. Nope. That's weird. Okay, I was just about to say that these taste kind of good, but when I started eating a lot of them, that chemical manufacturing taste is kind of in my mouth. It's really weird. Like when I ate one, I didn't really notice it. Yeah, when you eat one, you don't really notice it. It tastes like a dried fruit snack. But then, when you take a handful, Yeah, you get that chemically manufacturing smell. How does that even make any sense? Why is that? How does it taste one way when it tastes a, diff a different way? You eat a whole bunch of them. That's weird. Yeah, so it's not good. So I would say <laughs> if you want to give this to your kid, only give them one at a time because they think that it's actually decent. But if you give a bunch of them and they eat them all at the same time, it's going to be gross. Oh man, this stuff sticks to my teeth. You ever eat like, I don't know, a bunch of bread or like a really doughy piece of dough or doughy bread or something like, you know, just is like all gummy like around your teeth. But my teeth are encased with this stuff. I don't think this is real food. I think it, it's this free dried fruit, but I think they try to pack too many fruits and vegetables in one little drop. I mean, that sounds pretty sketchy to me. I mean, look at that thing. This one's not even like a droplet. Like some of them look like Hershey Kiss, but this one's just like a, a, a I don't know, a mini pancake, a, a, a small cracker, a button. I don't know, like this is weird. I don't know, that's, that's really strange. That's it guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you guys did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Uh, it's still stuck in my teeth. Oh, this smells so bad.